G'day folks, this morning I'm going fishing for carp in Reedy Creek near El Dorado. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Now this spot behind me here, I've got a bit of a story to tell you about this spot. This is behind quite a popular campsite. I don't usually fish the popular spots, there's normally a few people around and I give them their space and I go elsewhere. But yesterday, Loretta and I were up at the... Uh, we were out here taking photos, bird photos and wildlife photos, and we were parked on the side of the road up at the old Woolshed Primary School site. When a car came up and asked for directions, a lovely couple from Rosebud, they said, do you know anywhere we can go camping? And I said, well, follow us, and I'll take you down to where there's some camping sites. And I drove into this campsite, there was no one here, and I showed them, and I came for a walk down the creek with them, and I found this big, deep hole, and... I could see two or three reasonable sized carp, maybe around the 50 centimetre size, just sitting under the surface. As soon as I saw them carp, I thought, I'm totally coming back to this spot. So I didn't know, I showed them a couple of other sites, I wasn't sure where they ended up. I saw them this morning, they're down the river a bit further, or down the creek a bit further. There's no one here, so I've come here today with my worms and my corn to see if I can catch some of these big carp. baiting up my worms here I noticed something just broke the surface out there it looked like a trout rise I doubt very much that there will be any trout in here there used to be years ago many years ago but the creeks ran dry a few times since then it hasn't been stocked and to be quite honest the uh, the habitat here is terrible for trout it's it, for those of you that don't know where I am there's a road that goes from beach from El Dorado to Beechworth it's it could be the Woolshed Valley Road or something, I'm not sure what it's called, but it goes from El Dorado to Beechworth. There's lots of free public camping. It's very, very popular, and it's very popular with people panning for gold. That's what's probably caused this hole, people digging the dirt away looking for gold. It's one of the most popular gold panning places in Victoria. Now, there's also carp here, and I have caught redfin here in the past. I won't be at all surprised if I catch a redfin, although I'm not expecting to. But I would be surprised if I caught a trout. I don't know what that was that broke the surface, but my guess is a carp. Anyway, I'm using two rods. This one here is a Pat Nosterig with a small sinker. That's fishing on the bottom out there with, a, with two Janjuk worms on it. This other rod here is a bubble float. It's got a single Janjuk worm on it, and it's only got a dropper of about 40 centimetres. And I'm going to put that way down there. Getting a bite here, my first bite. Right, well, it's been 20 minutes. I've had one little nibble on the Pat Noster egg, nothing on the float. I've got to reel this in, check the bait, make sure it's not snagged, and then I'm going to put some corn under my float. Right, oh, here we go. I've got five corn kernels on there, and I've made my dropper probably about 80 or 90 centimetres. I've made it longer. Carp me up. Oh, me float, me float. Something's biting the corn. The float's bouncing up and down stopped. Definitely just had a bite on the corn then. Here we go, it's been towed. It's been towed. Float's gone under and got him. It's game on. This is what I came for. Wow. 15 minutes with the corn, with the worms and nothing. About 30 seconds with the corn and I hooked up. Oh, he got off anyway. Bugger it. Right, hopefully it didn't spook every carp in the creek, that one. I was a bit to the right of that, but that's okay. Carp move around. And I suspect that the current will move it across a little bit anyway. 
Don't know if my eyesight's getting bad or what, but I can't see my float. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Just make it out. I need to, next time I reel it in, I'll uh, turn it around and have the white side up. Give me eyes checked. If you're having trouble with your eyes, the best, the best site to go to is conjunctivitis.com.au. That's a site for sore eyes. My float. I don't know what's up with my float. I'm not sure if it's moving slowly or whether the, the leaves moving past it are making it look like it's moving. Something's up. Something's different. Well, there's no fish on it. That's bobbing now. It's just bobbing. Just had two or three bobs. I reeled it in a little bit and just moved it. And then it had a bite. There's rings coming off it again now. There's definitely something under my float. It's, it's moving slowly. There's something playing with that corn. Got him. I've got something. I've got one. It's not, a, oh, Christ, it's not a very big one, but now it's starting to go nuts. It wasn't a very big bite. It feels like maybe a 40-centimetre uh, carp, had a guess. Got to be careful it doesn't tingle around the other line there. It's not a bloody turtle, is it? No, it wouldn't have swam up here so quick it was a turtle. Please don't be a turtle. No, there's no way a turtle could cover that much water so quick. No, it's a, here we go, it's a fish. It's a swimmer. It is a big old, pretty sure it looks like about a 40 centimetre European carpio. And that's exactly what it is. I've got my fish grips here. Been very slow, I hooked one over an hour ago. It's 11 o'clock and I got here, I think it was about 9, 8.39. The old carp under the bubble float trick, hey? <laughs> Don Adams. Maxwell Smart. Come on, Carpio. I wonder if it's the same one that I lost earlier. I've got my fish grips here, but I think I'll just beach him on the rocks here. Gee, the sun's warm and I'm sitting in the shade. I come out in the sunny now and it's really warm. It's beached. It's officially caught. It's officially catched. Ugh. Mate, you're covering me in mud. Don't. Yuck. Get out of it. I don't think he's all that happy about being caught, to be quite honest. Oh, dear. One Reedy Creek mud marlin. I'll get a quick pick, then I'll put him out of his misery, then I'll put my corn back in for a little while. Probably about another half an hour, I reckon, then I'll head off. Well, folks, after what I saw here yesterday, I thought that coming here today and catching a few carp would be easy, and I thought I might even catch a couple of redfin as a bycatch. As it turns out, I've sat here for three hours, caught one carp and lost one carp, and had a couple of other small nibbles. It's been very, very quiet, much harder than I expected, but very relaxing and it's easy to see why Reedy Creek is such a popular spot for people to come camping. It's just so relaxing here, just wonderful. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my Reedy Creek carp fishing adventure. If you have, why not give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.